Hey, y'all know the fly high is cool and smooth as y'all niggas doing this shit, y'all. Yeah. Same look, nigga, big pistol in the field block. What's happening with the gang? Y'all tuned in 100 Show Faith, and we back with another video, you dig? Hey, man, so look, Yes G's just dropped this song, Taking That Risk. You feel me? Then he got hashtag face of the Bronx in his title. Man, Yes G's is a dope rapper. I've listened to Yes G's plenty of times on the channel. If you guys haven't seen those reactions, go ahead and check them out. But he's a dope artist, you feel me? He's well connected with his people. He clearly thinks very high of himself to be calling himself the face of the Bronx. You feel me? A lot of people usually take that title to some serious lengths. You feel me? When they say they're the face of something, that means... Really, they, they really feel like they putting on for they front. You feel me? So shout out to Yes G's. Like I said, dope artist. Very talented. I personally like his music. I like his sound. He reminds me of Pop Smoke. You feel me? Just the hair, the voice, everything about bro just gives off Pop Smoke. But he is his own person. And he got his own sense of style and flow when it comes down to his rap. So, man, I'm ready to get into these Yes G's taking that risk, bro. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure y'all go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's always in the description box below and make sure y'all turn on post notifications so y'all know when i'm dropping a video you did but yeah gang yes g's taking that risk let's see what my boy is talking about i'm pretty sure he's gonna be saying some hot shit due to the fact he went ahead and put face of the bronx in his title as well hashtag face of the bronx hey man let me know if y'all feel like yes g's is the face of the bronx real shit let me know in the comments let me let me hear y'all opinions and y'all thoughts on the shit because me personally I haven't listened to all the Bronx artists to just go out here and say, yep, yes, these is a face. You feel me? No disrespect towards them, but I haven't listened to all the other Bronx artists to just say, yeah, yes, these is a face. You feel me? But y'all let me know because I'm pretty sure y'all in tune with more Bronx artists than I am. So go ahead. Tell me y'all opinions. Tell me y'all thoughts and, and feelings about him being the face of the Bronx. And if you think he is personally. All right. We finna get right into it, though, gang. Let's see. Not Yes G's popcorn? Damn, motherfucker, man, you know that I've been killing. I'm the face of the post like boy. I'm oh. in my solo, I do what I want. How many niggas got put in the blunt? They don't got turned in the front. See my baby show all on my gun. You see the house we've been making them fun. I was you down and I thought you was proud of me. I couldn't see through the sun. With your shit, I like holding my fun. Bitch, I was broke, I was still in the front. Ooh. Nigga, dumb, I ain't going for none. Big brown, that shit like this shit for his son. Good. Like I said, he didn't start it off his rap with him saying he's the face of the Bronx. Like what? You feel me? Um, Yes, Jesus is dope. I think this video is very dope for the simple fact. Bro got popcorn with his name on it. Yes, Jesus. That's actually act popcorn. If y'all don't know, that's act popcorn, bro. But yes, Jesus. Then he got the title of the song on the popcorn, taking that risk. There's a bunch of yes, Jesus popcorn everywhere. That's dope to me. Hey. Go ahead and make some popcorn, bro. Shit, you might as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you look, you'll make a grip of money off of that, bro. People going to definitely buy some Yes G's popcorn. You feel me? Face of the Bronx popcorn. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, this is a dope video so far. Shout out to the director. Shout out to the producer because it's a dope beat. Yes G's on this beat and him rapping. It sounds good. You feel me? Every time I listen to Yes G's, he never lets me down as far as his rap goes. Um... Personally, I haven't listened to every single one of his songs, but the songs that I have listened to, you feel me? He came hard on them. Real shit. He came hard. He did what he had to do on the track. Um, I haven't heard a bad song by Yes G's. To me, I feel like every artist got just one song that not everybody going to fuck with, even though they may be a dope-ass artist. But I feel like every artist just got that one song that, and you know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know, because shit, all the SG shit might be hard. You never know. You, look, you never know. I haven't listened to all of his music, so y'all got to let me know. You feel me? This is dope, though. I like this. I love this video, bro. These edits are dope. They are dope. Shout out to the director. They don't have a uh, person that directed this one up there. But shout out to the director of this video. This is dope. 
yes, G's is a very creative artist. Um, I honestly feel like he plays a part in his visuals, like as far as what he wants to see. He, he does seem like a person that, you know what I'm saying? He protects his work. You know what I'm saying? Like he really dedicates his time to his work, his art, his craft, his rap. You feel me? And when it comes down to the visuals, I feel like he right there telling the director like, oh, I want it like this or, you know what I'm saying? Just giving different scenarios, different examples. Um, Like I said, yes, he's a very creative artist. I think he's dope personally. This is a dope song so far. I, I really want to hear some more uh, Bronx artists though. I want to hear some more Bronx artists because I really want to understand why Yes G's really takes the title of Face of the Bronx, bro. Like, he he puts that around everything that evolves him. You feel me? When it comes down to music, when it comes down to visuals, nigga captions on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? He, he continuously calls himself Face of the Bronx. So I want to know why. Like, who are the other Bronx artists that are hot right now, bro? I need to know because I want to tap in with that music too. So I can really say, okay, let me see. You know what I'm saying? In between, I'm busting the stone. Yeah, cuz you want me to take it alone. Yeah, cuz yeah, thought. Grabbing a bar. Beat the bar. I'm going to hard. I just put him straight on the stud. Get in my bag and I fill up a plug. Blow it back. Don't front. Beat it up. See a gun. Turn around. Do a stunt. Baby, we can just do what you got. I'm gonna find my head from the front. I know that you freaky. I'm grabbing a bar. I'm buying Chanel. Would you buy me a gun? He said, If I buy you Chanel, would you buy me a gun? <laughs> Yo. Look, that's what y'all better start asking these girls when they want y'all to buy them purses and, you feel me, shoes, get their hair done, their nails done. Shit, do an exchange for an exchange. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy you a Chanel if you give me a, a 38 <laughs> or a, a, four, a 45 something, you know what I'm saying? Shit, AR, whatever whatever you prefer, you know what I'm saying? I'm not pro promoting any gun buying but you know what i'm saying do an exchange for an exchange shit shit i'll get your hair done if you give me this uh these new pair of jays coming out this saturday or shit i'll get your nails your toes your lashes and your hair done if you buy me the new ps5 bitch <laughs> <laughs> And some days I be feeling a little sick. PTSD got me moving like crap. My eyes be burning and red. I swear, and them tests just get flipped. See my body, she throwing my grip. She might have thought, no, she my little bitch. I need your book, I'm about to get rich. Like, get it, I call it some brown with sweat. Look, he said, I can't get booked because I'm trying to get rich. That was it, I don't know. Must be burning the way like clear and the test just get flipped. See my body, she throwing my grip. She might have thought, no, she my little bitch. I can get booked because I'm about to get rich. He said, I can't get booked because I'm about to get rich. That's a fact, bro. Honestly, I feel like um, I wish all rappers had that mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, k Flock, d Dang, Lee Drilly. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that they didn't have that mentality, but I wish they could have at least seen how quick their growth was and how many people actually was riding with it. You know what I'm saying? And really supporting them and wanting continuous music, you know, or else... They probably would have really stayed on track with the studio instead of being involved in, you know, other shit that'll get them in jail. You know what I'm saying? So I feel yes, G's on that one. He like, I can't go to jail. I'm, I'm trying to get rich, bro. I'm finna be rich in a minute. I'm literally finna be rich. Pretty much nothing gonna stop, bro. He's not going to jail. He's not finna get in a position where he gonna catch a case. He probably, I'm not gonna say he carry guns, but if he do, you know what I'm saying? He probably keep that shit nice, tucked, real secure, just in case anything happened. You know what I'm saying? He just taking another path that way he don't fall into trouble and get set back you know what i'm saying and i wish k fly d thing lee drilly nick so many artists are part of the new york drill scene we're not locked up right now because they would be making the loudest greatest noise you know what i'm saying it would be a it would dead ass be stiff competition in the new york drill scene if everybody was, wasn't locked up you know what i'm saying if everybody was free right now really putting their music out doing their thing dropping consistently shit would be fucking crazy, but with the people that we do have out that are making music, they rocking the scene as well, you feel me? I feel like all the New York drill artists right now, they doing their thing, bro, and they staying on top, and they doing what they gotta do to keep the music coming, keep their people, you know what I'm saying, supporting, keep their fans watching, keep their fans supporting, so 
Shout out to him. But I feel I feel Yesby's on that one. You feel me? Shit, don't don't do nothing, bro. That's gonna get you locked up, bro. Don't. Don't even know. Don't, bro. He said, one day I'm going to go and I'm going to be missed. <clears throat> That's a fact, bro. You feel me? I feel like anytime we lose artists, regardless of if you listen to them or if you didn't really rock with them, you know what I'm saying? If you just heard their name at least and you didn't at least seen a music video, heard a song by them, heard one to two songs by them, you know what I'm saying? They do sometimes take an effect on you. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, damn, this person just passed away. Maybe you didn't listen to them, but you'd be like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It'd just be like a shock. Um, I would definitely be hurt if something happened to YesGs. I'm not going to lie, bro. Any any other artists, you know what I'm saying, that I listen to or that I react to through the channel, bro, I would dead as be hurt if anything happened to any of them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so much talent, so much potential. They 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 doing so much for such a for 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 younger people. You know what I'm saying? Like for them to be so young, they putting their foot in the game in a major way. You know what I'm saying? Bringing home money to feed themselves, their people. You know what I'm saying? Their family, all, the whole the whole nine yards. You know what I mean? So I would definitely be hurt if we lost ESGs. I'm not gonna cap. I'm not gonna cap. He's very talented. You know what I'm saying? This he's a. He's an artist for real. You know what I'm saying? He he does his shit and he does it very well. So I feel him on that, bro. He, hey, and at least he got the confidence to know, like, you know, I'm actually something to the point that if I did leave this earth, motherfuckers would actually, you know what I'm saying, be hurt on another level. Oh, JMO did this video. Ugh. Shout out to JMO. This was a dope video, bro. Him and Kalo Visions, bro. Y'all niggas are dope as directors. Dead ass dope directors. I love y'all videos. But shout out to Yes G's with taking that risk, bro. You definitely are taking a risk in a rap game, man. You're taking a huge risk. A huge risk. Being a rapper is a huge risk, bro. Stay on top. You know what I'm saying? Keep dropping music. We fucking with you. I'm enjoying it myself. I love to see the grind, the hustle. Look, your your strength, your growth is amazing, bro. Keep doing what you got to do. Stay on top as always. Love it. Support it, bro. Much love to you. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all get at me on the ground. Turn on post notifications, gang. I'm out this one, bro. Hey, y'all know on the fly high, it's cool and smooth as y'all niggas doing this shit, bro. Yeah. Same look, nigga, big pistol in the field, bro.